Mga kababayang walang kaba, magandang umaga, magandang tanghali, magandang hapon, magandang midnight sa inyong lahat. Dito pa naman sa PHLB Radio. Mga kababayang walang kaba, magandang umaga, magandang tanghali, magandang hapon, magandang midnight sa inyong lahat. Dito pa naman sa PHLB Radio The Monitor. We'd like to welcome you back para po naman sa isang palatuntunang tapat dito pa naman sa PHLB Radio in Las Vegas. Today's uh, uh, episode is a very unique one. You know why? Because this is all about music. Not only music, ordinarily music, uh, like what we're doing with uh, the previous um, shows that we had on the monitor, but this is... A very unique show because our performer is a little boy. He's cute. He's only five years old, but he plays a very good instrument. But before that, we'd like to introduce the teacher. Huh? Let's introduce the teacher. Uh, again, his name is I. Uh, <laughs> Thank you guys for inviting me. Yeah. I, I, Vo. Is it Ivo? Yes. Um, yeah. Mm. I have been in Las Vegas for about 21 years, so my name is Ivo, but I'm Evo. used to be called Ivo as well. Mm. And uh, our friend uh, Ivo, Ivo here is from... Bulgaria. Bulgaria. I can smell the perfume again. And The uh, rose oil. <laughs> and but by the way, Bulgaria is one of uh, the cities or countries that you should uh, travel If you are from Las Vegas, from America, it's nice to be there, Bulgaria and Romania. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to make some uh, uh, background about uh, your being a teacher here for 21 years in Las Vegas. What do you do, Ivo? Uh, first, I um, am born mm. in Bulgaria uh -huh. in a family of professional violin Uh, teachers. Oh, you're so a violin my, teacher. So my yeah. parents, my brother as well, mm -hmm. are violin professors. Wow. Um, I started playing violin when I was about four years old. Four? So this kind of relates me with Paul. Mm. And when I see him grow, when I see him learn how mm. to play the violin, mm. it reminds me how I started. Mm. Wow. Um, in Bulgaria, uh, I finished the state university mm -hmm. with violin performance mm -hmm. and then I worked five years as a member of the National Symphony Orchestra. Symphony. It's mm -hmm. called Sofia Philharmonic Orchestra wow. where I worked from 1995 until year 2000 mm -hmm. when I moved to Las Vegas. All right. Uh, since beautiful. year 2000 I'm a member of the Las Vegas Philharmonic Orchestra which performs at the Smith Center mm -hmm. of Performing Arts here in town. Mm -hmm. And also, I am one of the uh, people who first started playing at the Venetian Resort and Casino. Mm. I was a um, teaching assistant at the University of uh, Nevada, UNLV. Mm. Mm. Um, I was a teacher with the Clark County School District as well. Mm. So, Ivo, Ivo uh, before we go uh, ahead, I'd like to um, request you to please mention your phone number or cell phone number just in case uh, there are parents who are watching now that they want their kids at very young age to learn how to play the violin. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to mention first that I actually was teaching one very talented uh, Filipino kid mm -hmm. back, let's say, about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. His name was John Vincent Parin. Mm -hmm. So if His parents are listening. I just wanted to say hi to them. He was <laughs> one of the best, if not the best, in this mm. town at the time when he was my student. Um, of course, my phone number is 702-292-9298. And mm. you guys are welcome to give me a call. Mm. I could give you uh, free advice and I, I would uh, be able to guide mm. you through mm. the journey of music. You're right. And by the way, we'd like to thank uh, Angie Inad. Uh, he's also a Filipino for bringing this music family here in the studio. Huh? That's Angie at the background. <laughs> She's in full red. Huh? Thank you, Angie. 
And uh, would like to thank also the CEO of PHLB Radio, uh, Johan Saison, for giving us this opportunity for the monitor to be uh, uh, shown on this uh, particular uh, program, the monitor on PHLB Radio. Uh, first and foremost, um, the parents are here. Let's uh, look at the parents. First, we'd like to introduce Elena. Elena. Elena, uh, would you like to greet our um, audience on PHLB? Thank you. Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for um, being so kind to inviting us here uh, with you and your uh, wonderful audience, Filipino and uh, white American people. And also. And uh, we are proud to, to be here, mm -hmm. and also we are extremely happy to have, uh, mm -hmm. meet, uh, have been meeting Miss Angie, mm -hmm. um, which is uh, such a wonderful person, kind mm -hmm. woman, and teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, we, our trust grew up for her, mm -hmm. so um, our kids started to love her, mm -hmm. to especially for the moments when she mm. sings. You're right. Yes, and the boy <laughs> they have karaoke shows at mm. home. Mm. They have so much fun so together. So this is entirely a music family <laughs> here. <laughs> we are totally <laughs> dedicated to music mm. and she really helps uh, right. our mm. kids. By the way, uh, for the information of those who are watching us, the audience, Elena has been in the radio and television newscasting uh, way back in Romania in uh, her younger years so uh, she's so familiar with the announcers booth the technicians booth uh, when uh, she came in uh, that's why we're happy to have another media uh, practitioner here and she's still active on uh, i think uh, on the cultural uh, write-ups that you do for the romanian uh, readers here in nevada right elena that's correct. Mm -hmm. um, because you know, the first love you never forget. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My first love of was course. radio. Mm -hmm. uh, Besides your husband. Besides <laughs> your <laughs> Besides my husband. Hobby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But uh, yes, mm -hmm. the um, media, everything yeah. what media means. Right. Um, I know, I'm sure that mm -hmm. you, you have those feelings. Yeah, uh, of course, yeah. All yeah. right. So the first and foremost love, aside from radio, here's Christian. Uh, Christian, the husband, uh, would you like to greet our uh, listeners and audience so uh, we can see you on camera too? Right there. Hello. Right there. Yes. That's Christian. Thank you for having us here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much, Christian. He's a very... Uh, uh, long speech. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> very long speech. <laughs> he's, anyway. he's gone. Uh, okay. He's very busy. Right. Now, on this side uh, with uh, Ivo, we'd like to introduce the little uh, boogeyman. Huh? Um, Here's a, he's a lo he loves to play music, too. And his name is... Alex. This is Alex. Alex, Alex say hi, you say hi. Right hi. here. Hi. Hi there. Alex. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to present to you the performer for tonight's... Uh, uh, for today's uh, f uh, the monitor on PHLB Radio Las Vegas, we'd like to introduce um, Mr. Five Year Old Player, Mr. Paul.
Yeah, this is the first song of uh, Paul Gliga, almost five years old. This coming January 2022, right? Now, uh, from from uh, Ivo's end, we'd like to ask you about uh, his achievements uh, for the past uh, years that you've been uh, teaching uh, Paul uh, playing violin. Uh, do you have any uh, information about that? Yes, of mm. course. Okay. And I would like to very quickly uh, pass this question to mm. Paul's mom, who Ooh. is my mm. uh, advisor. She mm. knows about <laughs> all the competitions. She mm. knows what exactly is required. Uh -huh. She knows when the deadline is. She doesn't sleep the night before. She edits <laughs> and she puts everything together. All uh -huh. the paperwork is done properly. Uh -huh. uh, so uh -huh. I will pass All the to production her. work, huh? Uh, yes. For El just, Elena, I'm just the teacher. Yeah, she's she's the brain. The she's brain. the <laughs> person behind this. Oh, right. On. She's doing great. Okay, let's listen to Elena. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, sometimes when uh, Paul practice mm -hmm. with his teacher, and some uh, being a child, he mm -hmm. has his moments of mm -hmm. not paying so much attention, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm I'm having that look. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the teacher mm. says, Mr. Grade, mm. hey, your manager is mad. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yes, I like to, uh, I, I wanted to prepare him uh, for, mm. him for a bright future, as right. all mm. the parents, mm -hmm. I think. <laughs> mm. And I want to create it, to help him to create a background. Mm. So uh, that's why I can mention that for about a year, w since he started in September 1st mm -hmm. last year, mm -hmm. uh, he already won three uh, prizes, first wow. prizes. Wow. He has his trophy, he has mm -hmm. his medals, mm -hmm. his diploma. We started in the first his apparition, apparition, uh, public, public mm -hmm. um, Debut, de mm. debut, debut, debut. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, was in uh, registered in May mm -hmm. when we play at the church, our mm -hmm. Orthodox church here in Las mm -hmm. Vegas, right. and we had a uh, performing um, mm -hmm. on the stage. So mm -hmm. that was his moment of shine, wow. brightness, and uh, that's the moment when she, when he realized that mm -hmm. all the uh, applauses, the mm -hmm. acclamation, mm -hmm. the people yeah. um, calling him. Wow, mm -hmm. well done, mm -hmm. good job. Uh, uh, he realized that he enjoys this life, right. this mm -hmm. uh, journey in mm -hmm. music. I have a one question yes, for you, please. by the way, Elena. Uh, Ivo mentioned that uh, his family uh, back in Bulgaria, uh, their music uh, people, really from uh, your father's side, your mom's side, the whole family. How about uh, your family, Elena and Christian? We are related to music, but um, mm -hmm. not ma not me personally. Christian's mm -hmm. family um, mm -hmm. is a um, violin maker, um, has a violin um, manufacturing making, making uh, background. Christian's father is a luthier, renowned, world renowned. Mm -hmm. He has uh, many prized in uh, creating his own patterns Ooh. of um, mm -hmm. violin stringed mm -hmm. instruments. Um, Christian followed the school, music school. Mm. He played piano since age um, seven or piano. eight. Yes. Wow. Okay. His sisters also mm. uh, started to play violin at mm. that time. Mm. But I personally started with Paul <laughs> <laughs> last year. <laughs> That's so nice. Huh? I, I, uh -huh. I, I never was... Uh, in this tem thematic mm. <laughs> musical. <Yeah. laughs> I was related to media, journalism. And journalism, exactly. radio, radio and uh, TV. Even so, I realized that music fills you uh, free, mm. um, gives you joy, yeah. gives you, mm. you motivation. Yeah, I so um, I said, why not? He, Paul, had, had set, set that natural feeling of holding the bow, holding mm. the violin. Mm. At the age of two years, mm. he already took the violin so natural, he put it here mm. under like the Alex, chin. Like uh, what Alex is doing, and huh? Exactly. <laughs> Alex is three years old. Yeah, I know. So we said, yes, 
we will help him to to go to this in addition to that uh, let's go back to Evo uh, maybe you have uh, some additional uh, observation and comments yes. on that information yes, uh, yes. I, I remember vividly uh, September September 1st of mm -hmm. last year when mm -hmm. I started uh, teaching Paul mm -hmm. it was his first class mm -hmm. and I remember making a mm -hmm. literally a deal and this is more like a joke I said hey I would like to teach mm -hmm. Elena mm -hmm. together with Paul mm -hmm. <laughs> of course not not together both oh. at the same time but yeah. I teach Paul and then I switch one to and Elena one. Yeah. and I teach every single song I teach mm -hmm. Paul I teach Elena how to mm -hmm. play Mm -hmm. And I can tell you guys, it has been a big competition between <laughs> two of them. So far, I'm sorry, Elena, but Paul, Paul has three first prizes. One of them uh -huh. was in Romania, uh -huh. and you could tell us more details. Uh, but yeah. the second one, which I'm very proud of, uh -huh. was a Medici competition in Italy where they had people performing from all over the world. If wow. you look at the awards, mm. Paul got first prize at prodigy category which is the youngest prodigy yeah but if the you look youngest at, but if you look at the people who participated uh -huh. there is a girl from spain for example there is a person uh, how from old taiwan they're all different Older. ages yes or different ages different to, ages. to professional mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and in fact the professional violinist i know her personally because she's from bulgaria mm -hmm. um her mom was student of my mm -hmm. my father wow. for 12 years for 12 years wow. yes so wow, so wow. i know that she's a top notch she's mm. one of the best performing artists in europe right now so mm -hmm. you can see the scale of this competition mm. and when we just wanted to try why not let's mm. just send his information maybe we are going to get honorable mention or mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. just to boost his enthusiasm mm -hmm. and when they said you guys got to the second round mm. we were very very thrilled we hoped again for something mm -hmm. maybe a plaque yeah and then when the results came in Elena was speechless she, she <laughs> said hey I don't know to be happy or uh -huh. not is this some kind of a error should we call them is this a joke <laughs> <laughs> yes is this a joke <laughs> but since then she learned and mm -hmm. and Paul mm -hmm. they learned that hard work mm -hmm. always pays off yeah I I don't want to tell you how many mm -hmm. times mm -hmm. we start just like she said mm -hmm. uh, we start having a class mm -hmm. I may have a bad headache or maybe Paul didn't have breakfast mm -hmm. or maybe he had too much <laughs> chocolate okay. sometimes yeah. but mm -hmm. life is mm -hmm. a little messy sometimes mm -hmm. yeah what we are trying to do and me as a teacher mm -hmm. and Elena and Christian as parents we are trying mm -hmm. to put some order in this mess called mm -hmm. life mm -hmm. and being consistent mm -hmm. being there every day practicing consistently mm -hmm. always pays off right by the way uh, for those who are watching us on uh, uh, over PHL radio this is not is this is not the last the time that we're going to feature uh, Paul uh, Ivo Elena and Christian and of course with Alex the little one because he'll be performing too in the next few years once uh, the teacher is available to teach all these kids for music ladies and gentlemen We'd like to go back to Paul for his next performance.
Excelente. Huh? That's uh, almost five-year-old uh, Paul uh, Giaga. And uh, he's uh, still under the supervision of uh, Ivo, the teacher. And uh, uh, I, I, I think you already saw the face of Alex. Huh? Alex there is a play, very playful boy. And uh, by the way, what's the title of the piece, uh, Ivo, that you played with Paul? What's the title of it? I'm not so familiar with it. The first piece we played, mm -hmm. probably everybody knows, was oh, yeah, Jingle Bells. It's a Christmas song. And the second one was also a Christmas song called mm -hmm. Up on the Housetop. Up on the Housetop. Up on Hop. the Housetop. Up on the Housetop. I'm not so familiar with it, but I'll uh, practice it with uh, Johan Saison. <laughs> he has all the Christmas songs here. Thank you very much. All right. Um, uh, I heard something. Uh, are you uh, complaining, Alex? Alex? <laughs> you he says, this show was su supposed to be about me. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's, uh, uh, these are the couple of kids, uh, Elena and Christian. Uh, that's uh, Kuya Paul and Kuya Alex. Alex. Uh, Alex. How do you call Look it? Uh, the Angie? Hi Angie, how do you call Alex? Putukai. Bordeaux. <laughs> Bordeaux. Yeah, that's good. Thank you very much. Uh, do you have more additional uh, information about uh, what you're doing as a teacher and uh, taking care of Paul and uh, taking care of the uh, uh, Gelga family uh, in terms of music, uh, Ivo? Yes. Mm. Um, because Christian and Elena are very humble people, mm. I just wanted to mention mm. very briefly. Mm. Uh, what Gliga violin uh, violence really means. Mm. Uh, many, many years ago, back in Bulgaria, of course, I knew Gliga as one of the leading manufacturers of violence in Europe. Mm -hmm. If you look at the statistics, uh, mm. Gliga is producing, you, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but <laughs> about, I would say, 15% of the world market of violence. Mm. Is from... And in from the they're from Romania. From Romania. Mm -hmm. And their violins made the right way because mm -hmm. many mm -hmm. companies make violins, mm -hmm. but making violin involves more than just cutting the wood in the shape of a violin. Mm -hmm. It is more about knowing what kind of wood mm -hmm. exactly you should be using. What material do you usually use uh, in Romania? Maybe Christian can. Uh, uh, give us an idea. What material? Because some uh, people are like the guitar. It's a different material for a ukulele. It's uh -huh. a different material to use for uh, making violin. Christian right? is uh, electing us to speak in his behalf. So yeah. I will answer very briefly and then uh -huh. Elena could give us more details. Okay. But as far as I know, mm -hmm. the <coughs> original Stradivarius violins were made very specifically from the north slope of the Alps. This is a mountain in Europe, mm. which is over 3,000 feet. It needs to be the north slope because the wood grows slower mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And the grain, so basically the ear marks of the wood, they need to be very dense. Mm. And then the um, wood is cut exactly when there is a full moon sometimes in Ooh, February, uh, on the day. On the day. And then the wood stays for about one year on the ground just to dry naturally. <laughs> After this, wow. they put the wood into uh -huh. pieces which are for producing violins, but they keep it for about, I would say, 12 years, mm -hmm. more, mm -hmm. just to dry completely. Wow. And they keep it outside. Mm. So on the rain, on the mm. snow, this is the best way for the wood to dry. Mm. I hate to say, but nowadays many companies just cut the tree, any tree, believe me, because oh, there, are six different, there are six different kinds of pine tree, and only one of them mm -hmm. is the right one to make violins. Mm -hmm. Now, they call, just like with the bows, they call them Pernambuco bow, but the Pernambuco original bows were mm -hmm. made from the center, mm -hmm. the very center of the large tree. Now they 
uh, and they used to peel off just like onion mm -hmm. all the other mm -hmm. parts of the tree and mm -hmm. they would not use them mm -hmm. now they're <coughs> using every any kind of wood for making just like furniture wow so gliga violins are those professionally mm -hmm. made with the right kind of wood the right, the right kind. process mm -hmm. and very knowledgeable mm -hmm. because in one violin to sound good there are three major components mm -hmm. first is the material the material second is the craftsmanship mm -hmm. and the third is the setup the setup christian is the i would say the king if you <laughs> uh, don't mind of the setups he uh -huh. makes the violin sound great he uh -huh. he's in in fact taking care of my violin sometimes i just go to their house for a <laughs> class but it ends up Mm. actually as a class for me learning mm. how to take care of my own instruments mm. uh, the um, other thing i wanted to mention mm. is that in las vegas and again this is not a advertisement i have seen with my own eyes mm -hmm. is the largest um, place storage place for violins mm -hmm. i think there are over three thousand mm -hmm. violins from mm -hmm. any kind any quality Mm -hmm. uh, any size mm -hmm. any material any mm -hmm. finish you could imagine mm -hmm. and not just violins but also violas violoncellos and double basses mm -hmm. wow. nowhere else in the united states there is such a large only in vegas. selection only in las vegas and <laughs> and this is christian's creation everything is uh, with numbers like a catalog mm -hmm. he could go in a short notice mm -hmm. and he can find on the mm -hmm. large wall with all the different instruments wow. this is impressive you Only have to go and see it from Gliga violins in las vegas yes and even the floor in their mm -hmm. um, store mm -hmm. is imported from mm -hmm. romania romania and it has this pattern mm -hmm. very very beautiful pattern now i'm <laughs> Passing the word to Elena. Okay, Elena. Thank you. Uh, additional Mr. information. Yes, uh, it is good to know that uh, one stringed instrument, such as violin, viola, cello, double bass, mm -hmm. um, is made of um, for the top mm -hmm. uh, is made of resonant spruce. Mm -hmm. The back, the back, sides, and, and sides. the neck and the scroll usually right. are hand carved in flame mm -hmm. maple. Mm -hmm. The type of flame maple that essence wood can be different sometimes mm. is like a, some you can see like a tree christmas tree grain mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. two piece two pieces of uh, um, wood cut mm. it in a half like mr gradev's uh, violin you can see mm. the grain yeah the the closer the grain as uh, our teacher mentioned mm -hmm. uh, the better the sound the mm -hmm. older the tree the driest the the, the wood mm -hmm. that the enhances a, a better right. yeah. mature sound how about the strings yes there are a few <laughs> brands of strings out mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. Um, we install christian is in charge with the setup of the instruments and usually he uh, fits a uh, certain type of string for mm. certain type of uh, quality instrument mm. because we have different levels so mm. we cannot um, or for a very beginner um, mm. student mm. we wouldn't recommend better strings it's yeah. like uh, I just achieve my uh, permit mm. uh, permits to mm. drive mm -hmm. no and uh, i would drive a ferrari or but i don't have the, that ability and mm. uh, so uh, for different and financial <laughs> and ability financial. as well <laughs> yeah so when uh, i mean why comes, why not i would like not? to drive ferrari when mm. i'm learning and i i would like to scratch it all over <laughs> but uh, um, the truth is that mm. all the different kinds of strings they mm. correspond to different level of musicianship mm. So what Elena or is saying is... Or type of music, yeah. bluegrass music, mm. uh, fiddle music, country mm. music, classical mm. music. Yeah. By the way, what's the reason, what's the reason, uh, Ivo, why mm. the violin has only four strings instead of six? There are five strings also. Ah, uh, five, I'm sorry. Uh, there are five. four. Usually there four are four, but, and then but five. there exist five string and violin. Why is it that there's no six... Uh, a strings in a violin well the main reason is mm. there are four different kinds of human voices mm. the first one is mm. the bass, bass. Right. the second one is the tenor just uh -huh. like the male voices mm. tenor and mm. then you have the third the alto 
alto. And then you have the soprano. Ooh. And also the strings are tuned on mm. certain distance. Mm. And this is because we use four fingers when we play. Mm. And this makes it very easy mm -hmm. to be able to go from one string to another string. Mm -hmm. And we utilize, we use all of the fingers and mm. we are able to play melodies just by using our four fingers. Four. So basically is mm. the strings mm -hmm. correspond to the four voices, mm -hmm. but also takes into account that we use four fingers. Right. So that's the short answer. Nice. Uh. And the violins, just to correct Elena, they always mm. have four strings. The five <laughs> string violin, and she knows this. Uh. She was just trying to okay. give you a little bit uh, broader <laughs> answer, of course. Uh. I like to make jokes with her, and she knows that. But the five mm. string violin actually is a hybrid between violin and viola. Viola. And because right. me personally, mm. I teach violin and viola. Mm -hmm. I need to have in my tool bag this instrument because sometimes I start the day teaching a violinist, then I teach viola player, then mm. I teach a violinist mm -hmm. again, then viola player again, mm. and bringing those two instruments mm. is too cumbersome sometimes. So yeah. I just bring <laughs> one five strings violin dash viola. And yeah. also not to mention that this is very comfortable when uh -huh. I get called to play for yeah. a wedding and they cannot decide between violin and viola and mm. I just tell them, hey, I can do yeah. both. Yeah. By the way, is uh, Christian doing also some viola instrument? Yes. Uh, aside from violin? Not just violin, viola. Christian, mm. you could come to yeah. the microphone right. yourself just yeah. to confirm. Mm. Okay. But he's yeah. busy now because he's taking care of Alex, <laughs> teaching him how to hold the bow. Uh, but he does all the string instruments, I including can see that. Yeah. violoncello and yeah. double bass. Sometimes yeah. when I go to their mm. home, because I teach um, mm. all in their house, mm. sometimes when I get to the house, it's mm. very hard to open the door because there are all those cellos staying mm. right. I don't know why, Christian, you always pick mm. the front door <laughs> to put the, the, ha the largest instruments. <laughs> There, because so of the, the pandemic, mm. uh, last of year course, we because of the pandemic, <laughs> I, I had <laughs> no question about it. We started to work that. at home um, mm. in uh, last year in 2020. Yeah, so mm. uh, now we are back and forth mm. to the shop and at yeah, home making good. appointments for uh, musician customers, that's parents, nice. teachers. But uh, yes, we still work from home, and mm. uh, one of our uh, living room is like a workshop. Mm. <laughs> um, uh, Christian mm. had the, pa he's so patient. Mm. He he started to teach the boys he's how to. He's always a man of few words. Uh, less Christian. words, but uh, the <laughs> Action. He's a working, more action. Yeah, more action. Yes. Those words. <laughs> so he started to show the kids how mm. to put peck and pound, yeah. how to install strings, what's the meaning of the bridge, yeah. each part of the it's fitting. Part each of the, fittings, it's part of the instrument. Paul already mm. knows mm. Also in both Romanian and English in to English. explain what's right. the importance and mm. how to prepare how. Mm. And from Mr. Gradev, he, he um, learned how to tune in the mm. violin he right. he find the pitch he he's so mm. curious but yes they they they're a good team at home the boys yeah, <laughs> i think uh, paul elena is ready to perform the third uh music for the audience here on the monitor on phlv radio las vegas ladies and gentlemen please welcome paul again
Thank you, Paul. And uh, of course, Alex is also with us, the younger brother of Paul. Anyway, um, I know Paul is a little bit shy to uh, answer me. Just say hi to your audience, Paul. Say hi. Hi. Just say hi to our listeners and audience. Face the camera. Just say hi. Huh? Just say hi. Actually, I, I think Paul is not shy. Uh, he just wants Paul to is not shy. He's just tired with playing the violin. He just wants to keep the mystery. You until the next time. So, Paul, I have next. one question for you. Next, all right. Uh, my question for you is: Do you remember what you told me last time when we practiced for the Christmas concert, mm -hmm. which is going to be on December fifteenth? Fifteen. Yes, do you remember what you told me? You told me two things. What you want to get when you get adult, when you become, you know, adult. What was the first thing? Come on, you say it, because I know, but... Electric violin, he, right? He, asked, he actually asked me in Romanian, Mommy, how do you say in English, current? Current meaning electrical current. current. Oh! And I didn't understand why is he asking mm. me this? Current. Why is he putting me this question? Mm. And after uh, receiving a picture from his teacher mm -hmm. with a, a an electric violin mm. of Mr. Gradev, <laughs> and I realized actually Paul wanted to tell me that mm. he wants a electric, an electric, an electric violin. violin. So. Wow, his mind. Mommy, mm. how do I pronounce in English electric? <laughs> 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 because I want a violin, an electric violin. Oh, that's the electric uh, violin. Mm. Yes. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the last part of this uh, special feature featuring the music of Mr. Paul uh, Gliga. He's only f almost five years old. He'll be five this coming January 2022. Anyway, we'd like to uh, ask uh, our teacher, uh, Ivo, for the last uh, few words before we end up our show. But remember, this is not the last time. We'll be having another uh, plug and interview before the December 15 concert in Las Vegas, Nevada. Ivo, please. Yes, I would like to thank you guys for listening today. Um, I know it's interesting to know how music life begins mm -hmm. and at what age usually people begin playing instruments. Mm -hmm. um, the story of Paul Gliga and hopefully his brother Alex is very interesting because this is one of the youngest mm -hmm. kids I have ever taught to play an instrument. Wow. And we all know, all music teachers know mm -hmm. that we could teach anybody to play a song. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of how long it's going to take until we have the song done. You're right. Mm -hmm. I, many years ago, I was a music teacher. I was teaching middle school mm -hmm. orchestra. Mm -hmm. I would be able to teach the same song, all the sixth graders, we call them beginning orchestra, but mm -hmm. it would take me probably about a month to mm -hmm. get from the beginning mm -hmm. of the song to the end. Mm -hmm. The middle school orchestra, probably I would be able to teach for a week Mm -hmm. for the week. same song <laughs> the highs the uh, eighth graders the, younger the years, advanced younger, uh, the younger. youngest mm -hmm. a month the a sixth month. graders the seventh graders about a week uh -huh. the eighth graders i just give them the song uh -huh. by the end of the class they sound excellent they they wow. can play the same song mm -hmm. so with paul the interesting thing is mm -hmm. that he is playing he's so mature for his age he's so detail oriented mm. i would see his father mm. and his mother i could mm. see a combination of both like father uh, and, and his, mom exactly with paul yeah yes mm. his dad because paul is very detailed i could see christian even if i put the pencil a little bit on the side or they mm. have let's say a picture on the wall and mm. i accidentally bump into something mm -hmm. he goes and he fixes it immediately <laughs> if he plays 
If he plays a wrong note, mm. yeah. I can see on his face. Yeah. All right. I can see this. Mm. And his mom, because she's very social, she's very musically, she, she's very emotional. Mm. And he has the emotion, he loves music, mm -hmm. but he has the detail. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very seldom, very hard to find a four mm -hmm. years old to play um, s with such sense of mm -hmm. uh, attention to the detail and mm -hmm. to be so mature. We'll be having more information from uh, Ivo Gradev. Is that correct? Gradev. Yes. Uh, that's a good, uh, I, 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 I think I hit it right. Gradev with Ivo. Anyway, let's listen in to uh, Estella, I mean Estella Elena for her last words. Few words. But this is not the last one. Uh, we have more coming up before the December 15 uh, concert of uh, Paul. Elena? Thank you very much again for inviting us here. Mm -hmm. We are proud of Paul. We are proud of our teacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are proud of uh, being here. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, you are also invited to um, participate, to attend the Christmas concert Thank on uh, mm -hmm. next 15th yeah. December. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, Christian is a man of few words. I don't know if he's uh, going to bid us goodbye, uh, but not uh, permanently, but it's temporarily. We'll be having you a special interview next time <laughs> here on The Monitor, uh, Christian. And I would like to thank uh, Angie Inad for bringing the music family here. Angie is also a singer, and uh, the family here are music people. And of course, our CEO is a music man too. Uh, Johan Saison is a music man too. And everyone in PHLB Radio Las Vegas, the Filipino radio, are, most of us are music people. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to thank again Elena, Christian, and Ivo, and Paul, and Alex, and Angie for being with us today with uh, Johan Saison, our CEO. We'd like to thank you again for watching us here on the monitor of our PHLB Radio Las Vegas. It's me. Mga kababayang walang kaba, Rex Recarte po. Thank you. Maraming salamat.